Hey there, and uh, welcome to this video where we are going to set up Unity ML Agents. In my case, it is for an Ant Simulator project that I'm doing, but this tutorial is really for any project that uses ML Agents. If you've been following the ML Agents project, you know that things change uh, rather quickly, so we're sticking with the official steps in the GitHub repository. I'll have that link below. So first things first, you either create a new Unity project or open an existing one that you want to use ML Agents in. For this video, I'm starting a fresh new project and I'm calling it Ant World Simulator. I'm using Unity Editor version 2022-322, but depending on when you're watching this, the ML Agents doc might recommend a different version. Always stick with the version that works best for ML Agents at that time. Now that our project is open, we'll need a command line. I'm using PowerShell here, but you can use a command prompt or a terminal if you're using Linux. We'll need to navigate to our project folder to keep everything in one place. Next, we need Python. The version you need is specified on the ML Agents documentation, and this is really important, so please don't ignore it. If you use a different version, you'll probably hit some compatibility issues, so use the right one. I have a couple of Python versions installed, and you probably have some as well. But if you are missing the recommended version, just hop over to the official Python page and grab it. If it is an older version that's tricky to find, there are some good repositories online that host them, like this one. Once you've got the right Python version, let's set up a virtual environment using vmv to keep everything tidy. I like to create the environment inside my Unity project folder. It's a clean way to keep things, but you can set it up anywhere really. For my Python work, I use the PyCharm IDE. There is a community edition that is free that works really well. So if you're curious, just give it a try. You can find it uh, on their website. I'll set up our Python environment in PyCharm by simply opening the folder where we created the virtual environment. The Python Charms terminal automatically activates the virtual environment, so that's really convenient. From here onwards, you can use the terminal in PyCharm or stick with PowerShell if you prefer. If you're using PyCharm, the virtual environment is already activated. In the PowerShell, we need to activate it manually. Let's follow the ML Agents documentation. Inside the ML Agents repo, go to the docs folder and click on installation.md. The first step here is cloning the repository and you'll need to have git installed for this. So if you don't have it, grab it first. Once the repo is cloned, you'll need to install the necessary Python packages. We start by installing PyTorch version 2.2.1 with CUDA support. The PyTorch version is really important because newer versions actually break things. At least they did for me with this current version of ML Agents. Next up, we install the ML Agents AMPS package. This is where you might also run into some issues. I got this error about not being able to build the wheels for NumPy. The reason for this is that NumPy is defined as a requirement with the wrong version. To fix this, we just need to modify that. So go into the ML Agents AMPS folder and inside you'll find the setup.py file. Let's edit that file and update the version of NumPy to 1.23.3. Once that's done, run the command again and this time it should all work smoothly. After that, go ahead and install the ML Agents package. Before we move on, let's update pip to get rid of that annoying warning. And then let's move back to the Python virtual environment folder. To make sure that everything installed properly, Let's run the ML Agents Learn executable just to check. If everything's good, you should see it listening on port 5004. To stop the process, you simply press Ctrl C. Now let's get to the Unity side of things. Open the Package Manager in Unity and click Add Package from Disk. Then navigate to the folder where we set up the Python environment. Select the ML Agents folder and open the com.unity.mlagentspackage.json file. 
After that, do the same for com.unity.mlagents.extensions. And there you have it. ML Agents is now ready to go in your Unity project. So that's the setup process. It should work for any project that uses ML Agents. And in the next videos, hopefully, I'll be bringing up to life uh, Ant Simulator. I hope this helped. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.